everybody, this is Praxis, and I'm finishing up the trench today that runs from the house to the shed that carries hot water from the solar panels, also electricity to the shed, and a late ad was adding a water line here, you can see in the, the blue pipe. I say a late ad because if this is something that I had factored into the original build, I would have done this a little bit differently. This water line is only going to be, uh, I don't know, maybe two feet max under the ground. You really want to have it in this area, about four feet down under the ground. Uh, so this is the kind of thing that would just be like for summer use. I wanted to run a water line to the shed so that I could, you know, send water over to my parents if they have a trailer over there. Uh, so, you know, it's a summer use thing. We'll just blow the water line out in the winter. But that said, I am going to make some considerations to try to make it so that, you know, we could ex extend that uh, season. And one thing I was going to be doing anyway is uh, once I get these guys buried a little bit, and by buried, I'm just going to grab some of this pile and start, you know, filling in around all these cracks. I like to kind of pack it in as I go so that you get uh, a nice kind of even... Uh, layer over it so that when you know, once it, it does end up settling you don't have uneven settling so you're kind of like really packing it in with your feet also if you don't pack it in when you put it back down you're gonna end up with way more dirt there'll be a mound and it'll take like you know a year for it to really settle down so I like to kind of pack it in as I go but once I I get to the point where this stuff is all packed in uh, and pretty much just flush with the tops of these pipes uh, I'm gonna be doing uh, a layer of insulation. I've got a bunch of this scrap stuff left over from the foundations, this pink foam board. In fact, there's some of it was used up on the shed. You can see right behind you. And I'm going to be taking this stuff and laying it right down, you know, over this whole area. It's got like kind of like weird angles and stuff. I'm just going to kind of tessellate it in and cover up the entire surface. Uh, and maybe kind of come in on the sides a little bit. And the idea is to try to just uh, insulate the the warm area where we're getting heat from these panels, uh, you know, from the cold that's going to be coming in from the top. And uh, I've got a ton of scrap. So, I mean, instead of the scrap just going to a landfill and being essentially just, you know, useless, here, uh, even if it's got some cracks between it, it's going to be serving some kind of a purpose. And uh, uh, at the very least, it's, it's extra clean fill <laughs> because it's going to take up some space. Uh, I'm going to be using the pink stuff and not using... This stuff, this is the silver foil stuff that is from the house. I believe that this stuff, it, wow, it's bright. Um, uh, I believe that this stuff is open cell foam, whereas the pink stuff is closed cell foam. The difference is that open cell foam, while it's good insulation, if it gets wet, eventually it soaks up water like a sponge, uh, and then it loses its ability to insulate. Uh, so I'm going to be just using the closed cell foam stuff, the pink stuff, uh, which is intended for subgrade kind of work, because uh, otherwise, you know, the open cell stuff you know, eventually it's just going to, it'll absorb water, the water will freeze and just tear it all apart and it'll just turn into like a mess. But the pink stuff should work pretty well down there. And I have a fair bit of scrap. You know, there's lots of like long, thin sections. And I'm just going to lay them all in, get them as close together, pack dirt in, in on top of it. And uh, and we should have a pretty good good run here. I think at some point what I would like to do on the dead of winter is maybe uh, run a thermometer probe midway down this well line, make it so that I can get access to it later. And by well line, I mean this, you know, this water line here. Um, get, get a temperature probe in there and, and see what what the temperatures actually are in there in the middle of winter being insulated in next to the uh, the hot uh, the hot water panel pipes you know maybe uh, maybe this is the kind of thing that I can run all year long but you know I won't know until I test it out ah, biting flies that's it thanks for watching